joined by sports director Matt McCoy, a Diamonds Direct welcome to Jody Shelley. Jody, how does the morning find you? Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. It's interesting. I look at national headlines and I read like NBC Sports, Blue Jackets busy at deadline, keep Panarin. It's funny to me because here in Columbus, we're all geeking about the new guys. Nationally, though, keeping Panarin is big. Let's start there. Why is Panarin skating for the Jackets better than him skating for somebody else? Well, it's just why would you want to see that player that, okay, you don't know if he's going to sign here. It doesn't sound like he's going to sign here. And all the noise all year was, oh, the poor Blue Jackets, they're in a tough position, uh, and no one saw or thought that they would be have the attitude that they're going to make the best of the situation they have. They have the asset. Uh, they let people come and try to take him away. They didn't offer near enough. Uh, and so the price was high, and they wanted to keep him all along. So they're surprised, and it's better because whoever got Panarin, we know here in Columbus how much better they would be. And the Blue Jackets are much better with him off the board and staying here. Uh, so so that's a, a huge boost for this team. You know, Jody, not only Panarin, but Bob's here. And probably six months ago, I don't know how many people would have thought that they would both still be here through the trade deadline. But they are. And then you have Yarmo Kekalein and go out and add the assets that he has. Four, dif- four different players added over the last four days to this roster Take us inside the locker room from a player's perspective. When that happens and you have a GM go all in, so to speak, on a team, forgetting about what the new additions mean on the ice, but just from an attitude standpoint, I would think this has got to be a big shot in the arm for these guys. Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's, uh, and you know what, Matt, especially if you're still in the room with the group after 3 p.m., you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you started a couple days ago and then you feel the excitement in the locker room. It's awesome. It's, uh, Every team wants to be in a position at this spot where they've proven to their ownership that they have a good team and a chance to go for it. And that's what these guys have done over the past, let's say, 18 months uh, to two years. And, and now they're getting rewarded. This group is getting rewarded. The management has gone out and done their job and rewarded them with pieces. There's a buzz. There's a competition now, too. I'll tell you, yesterday morning, there's usually a, uh, a group that goes out to work on their, their skills before practice with Jared Bull and Kenny McCutton. Mm-hmm. It's usually four guys. Yesterday, there was nine guys. There's <laughs> competition there. There's a little extra work being put in because guys like Wenberg are out of the lineup. Uh, so, so you get a buzz. You get it. Uh, it's just it's a reward. And so, yeah, it's, it's a really great thing to be a part of. These guys are excited. Jody Shelley, color analyst for your Columbus Blue Jackets, our guest. Jody, when you look at just the dynamic of where everything stacks up right now, uh, you feel like maybe in the locker room it's not about we got to win tonight, but it's like we got to get past the eighth spot because we do not want to go first round against the the Islanders. No, the Lightning. And the Lightning. Yeah. I mean, these yeah. guys, I mean, 81 points for the Bruins, 80 points for the Maple Leafs, and the Lightning's at 100 points. That's crazy. Yeah, the most important thing now, Joel, is this team has got to figure out their chemistry, which they will. I still see them finishing top of the Metro. I mean, they're only six points back, and uh, that does them a bunch of favors. So uh, I think this is a team that's got energy. I think ever since last year when they dropped four in a row to the Capitals, uh, it's been stinging on them, everybody, much like our fans here in Columbus. It's been It's been tough, but now – they know their time is getting near to reprove themselves, to prove something to themselves in the league. Uh, so right now it's not about they're going to get the results. They're going to finish, I, I strongly believe, the top of the Metro. But watch this group come together. Watch the speed they play with. Watch the tempo. Watch the excitement, the competition that's in there. These are all healthy things. So the points are one thing, but I think the process of getting on top of their game when the regular season ends is the key to a long run here. Jody, you know, uh, with the benefit of hindsight, you know, two months from now, people may be looking back and going, ah, Yarmo, he really messed up, like if things don't go well. However, today, on February 26th, don't you have to love this as a Blue Jacket fan? I mean, you know, yes, he's putting his neck on the line, and there's a lot at risk if Bob and Brad walk and you don't get anything for them. But right now, today, Jody, this this feels like a GM that said, to hell with it, I'm going for it. Yeah, there's five teams that have made national attention. It's teams that like Winnipeg and Nashville who all along, right from day one of the season, they've been talked about as being a legit contender for the Stanley Cup this year. And then 
the other one of the other teams is the Columbus Blue Jackets, and it's because you know everyone looked at, from the outside and wondered what was going to happen, and internally they assessed what they had, and they they like it, and and you got to credit ownership too because you know they have to put the final uh, okay on all this, and their attitude is, hey, we've been doing this and building for the future for twenty years. It's time you have one of the best goaltenders in the world now. You have one of the most dynamic forwards you've ever seen in this organization in Panarin. Now, we own them the rest of the season. Let's use them and ride them. And, yeah, it's so exciting. The so Blue Jackets we, fans should be fired up about being a big-time buyer at the deadline. Yeah, so, so, Jody, I mean, that's the thing. You know, I mean, we know what Bob can do. We know what Panarin can do. So, of the four acquisitions, you know, who do you expect to see uh, kind of bubble up quickest? I mean, is it Duchesne? Is it Dezingle? Are you going to see McQuaid? Are you going to see Kincaid out there? I mean, Bob's been... I mean, so tough in that. I mean, Kincaid's just going to try to be trying to learn some stuff right now, isn't he? Yeah, he's just going to back him up. He he creates the competition with Corposalo. You know, Corposalo uh, got a little leaky there a couple games, and it's good to have a guy. Think about if Bobrovsky gets hurt. You need to have a guy that's got a playoff experience. So that's a great move if Bob goes down. Um, it takes a little off Corposalo. I think Duchesne, he's so dynamic. He's such a competitor. He, him with the puck, he brings excitement. He's a player that can also bring you out of your seat. Much like Atkinson and Panera. So I think Duchesne, and you know what? The Zingle, I think he's under the radar. He's got elite speed, and he's so excited to be a part of this team and back in Columbus, Ohio. Um, I love that. And then McQuaid's got toughness. And who doesn't love t- toughness, Joel, in the playoffs? Well, he's you love it. toughness because yeah. you are toughness. <laughs> Hey, Jody, uh, t- <laughs> uh, Jody, tonight, Pittsburgh, uh, obviously rivalry game, division game. They're right on the heels of the Blue Jackets. Just how big is it uh, tonight? And, I mean, there's only 21 games left, so I guess each game gets bigger. But a division game tonight, how important is this? Yeah, it's big, Matt, because this is a team that's just a couple points behind Columbus. We play them three times. So these are points that I think the Penguins have circled this year. Uh, when they play the Blue Jackets, who are ahead of them in the playoff, or in the playoff picture right now, they want to knock those points down. It's a four-point game, if you will, where they can catch up ground on the Blue Jackets. So they're coming in here with some all-business attitude right now. Uh, it's always fun when the Penguins are in town. We know that. So <laughs> it's a huge game, and at a perfect time after the Blue Jackets have just settled their roster. Well, it, it should be a rocking arena time. Uh, walk tall and uh, dress right, okay? A lot of eyeballs on you tonight, Jody. All right, you got it, Joel. I'll wear my best. Uh, that's my boy. I love it, Jody Shelley. Talking Jackets with Sports Director Matt McCoy here on News Radio 610 WCBN.